Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, well, that's the Yamaha electric organ. Mm-hmm. And um, he said, that's what I want you to play. Mm-hmm. I said, well, I've never played it before. Mm-hmm. And he said, I said, can I take it home? No. <laughs> because, you know, Miles paid you to create. Right. I mean, he wanted it. Wanted you to play something different every night, mm-hmm. and that's unheard of. Mm-hmm. But you know, most musicians uh, don't are not that uh, are very insecure. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can't take one hundred percent creativity every night, mm-hmm. and they don't know what's coming. But Miles, he loved that. Mm-hmm. So every night I played that, you know, I had to be creative because I was learning instrument and creating at the same time. Mm-hmm. So it was it was a great experience. Wow. Well, of course. Um, not only have you played with many jazz greats in the, the past, now young artists are now looking at you as, of course, the jazz great that you are. Yeah. Um, I know that you've worked with you know, artists like Rick Ross, Mary J. Blige, Nas, and Jay-Z. Yeah. They've all sampled your music. Could you tell me a little bit about those songs? Well, yeah, that's, that, that's really a blessing mm-hmm. because um, Jay-Z sampled a garden of peace mm-hmm. and dead presidents. Mm-hmm. And, and from talking to all the young generation, their presence really made him famous. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. And then um, Mergey Bride sampled uh, God of Peace right. and Take Me As I Am. Mm-hmm. And that was a major hit. Mm-hmm. Video, everything. Right. Right. So, I mean, that was... I mean, then, then the young kids rediscover you. Right. Because they hear it in the background. Mm-hmm. And then they say, wow, what is that? Then they go and find it. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you really... I was in the barber shop mm-hmm. about, oh, six months ago. Uh-huh. And, you know, the guy had one of them iPod phones, you know, and so I heard this song. I said, man, that's my song. Mm-hmm. Man, the guy stopped cutting his hair. He said, man, that's impossible. This is not your song. <laughs> he, was, he was playing a dog in the feet because he had heard it on Dead President. Uh-huh. And he said, man, I like that. And then he went and found it. So I said, I didn't know that is my song. And he said, he went on the, was on the iPhone that I was on the internet. Right. And so he went on And then when he saw that, he said, oh, no. But that's how the young kids are telling you. Sure. Very sure. Yeah. So, um, how did you feel that they? How did you feel about them sampling your song and the approach they took to your song? Oh, it was it was. Uh, I was really was impressed with uh, Mary J. Blige, mm-hmm. uh, taking out them. I mean, she used an orchestra mm-hmm. and everything. I mean, it was well produced. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Z, that president, but it's, it's raw. But that's what the people wanted mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at least you got two different concepts mm-hmm. and. Uh, you know, and it worked. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was actually watching the old Sade video not too long ago, and I saw your poster on her wall. And I wanted to know, you know, about maybe that story. And also, um, have you run into any other artists that have been little admirers of yours that have surprised you? Oh, no. Who? who what did you see? Sade's video. Mm-hmm. Oh, you saw it. You yeah. actually saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, because I had the magazine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and, and they said, uh, Wow! Oh, I'm, oh man, I'm, I'm, that got me a little bit excited. <laughs> wow, because I, I've been reading about it for years, mm-hmm. and um, so and you, so you saw it, so I mean, because they said when she was young, she had a, a picture, I mean, or a, a poster of Ronnie Smith, mm-hmm. and um, oh yeah, but you can tell by her, by her song, mm-hmm. especially all the, her first record, that, that she had really been listening to things I had done, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so, I mean, things like that really, really make you feel good. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, um, I know that you've discovered many young musicians like uh, Marcus Miller and Lee Six Pearson. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what advice would you give to up-and-coming jazz artists? Oh, well, you know, be creative. Because, mm-hmm. like, when I first heard Marcus, he was about 15 or 16 years old, mm-hmm. and we were jamming, which is years ago. Mm-hmm. But when I heard him, I said, uh-oh, he got it. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you... I, what I listen to, I, I listen for your inner being, your, your, your spirit, mm-hmm. and um, and I heard it, you know, because that's what Miles used to do when, when he hired people. That's what he listened for, mm-hmm. you know, that inner, your, your inner spirit, and because uh, that, that's the real you, that's where the real music is coming from. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, you can go to school and learn all the notes, but you still got it going inside and see what you want to, what you want to do with it. All this, you know, all you've learned. Mm-hmm. So when I heard Marcus, I said, wow. And then look at now, he's a superstar. Mm-hmm. And then when, um, so for a while, I kind of got out of the music business. Because mm-hmm. I said, wow, I couldn't find another marker. Mm-hmm. So, and then I heard, you know, Lee Pitt mm-hmm. you know, on drums. I said, oh, okay, well, I'll get back out here and start all over again. Because, right. you know, it's, I, I like to play with musicians where I don't have to tell them anything. Mm-hmm. I just play, right. 
and then and, and then me started playing, and it, and it just it was I was so impressed because um, he played what I thought I wanted, mm -hmm. and then he added something else to it. I said, man, he's that good, huh? Mm -hmm. 